Hello parents and students, my name is Susan Finlay and I'm going to talk you through our 2022 Year 4 Camp video. So where is the camp? The camp is located at the Kurumban Community Farm Campus, which is an environmental and outdoor education centre located right in the heart of Kurumban Valley. The actual location is Kurumban Creek Road. Uh, and if you're familiar with the area, it's directly opposite the Corumban Rock Pools and the Corumban Valley State School. Just 40 minutes drive away. This is a uh, map of the campus. Uh, lots of exciting activities to do. You can see the creek is across the road and also part of the creek runs through the campus. Lots of exciting things that we're going to do on this camp. As some background, the camp is actually an Education Queensland run camp. The staff there are actually teachers and specifically trained in outdoor education and they run all of the programs during the day. Our camp actually is an Indigenous focus camp. It's called Connecting to Country. Um, there's lots of themes in there within sustainability, the Indigenous perspectives, and a lot of the activities involve science and problem solving, team building and confidence building. It's a really lovely campus. It's 7.8 acres set right in the valley in a uh, rainforest surrounding the campus. It's just a really lovely, peaceful environment. Transport for our camp will be by coach, Imperial Coaches. They will transport students to and from the camp. These coaches are equipped with seat belts and will have two staff members that will travel on each coach. Um, as far as departure days, it's really important that we depart on time. So we ask students to try and be there by 8 a.m. for a 8.30 departure and students will return before the bell on their allocated day, approximately 2.30, 2.45. We ask that um, students assemble in the Year 1 and 2 eating area. The proposed dates at this stage, there are at this stage two camps. One, the Monday to Wednesday, 24th to the 26th of October, and that's for H, for A and for G. Camp 2 is Wednesday to Friday, the 26th to the 28th of October, and that's classes 4F, 4B and 4D. Um, on our camp we have two teachers minimum per group. The, as I said, the camp staff run the camp activities during the day, however they go home at night, and the school teachers are obviously there during the evening and we have both male and female teachers present during all camps. All camps are staff are first aid trained which is fantastic. Now accommodation this is the exciting part for the children. They have a fairly newly built cabin accommodation. Once upon a time it was tents uh, but the accommodation now is cabins. There are separate blocks for boys and girls. Each cabin contains four beds, which makes uh, two bunks per cabin, eight cabins per block. There is a toilet block attached to the cabin block and teacher accommodation is fairly close by. This is a picture of some of the cabin blocks. So... This area here is one of the cabin blocks and this area down there is the toilet block which joins both of the, the cabin blocks. Just another different perspective here. This is a cabin block and the four rooms on either side. Inside the cabin, uh, just pretty basic, two bunk beds and a cupboard on either side. This is a picture of the toilet block and the shower block. 
Now, some of our activities, as I mentioned, it's about connecting to country. And we do activities such as damper making, fire making, string weaving, uh, storytelling, spear and boomerang throwing. We do lots of indigenous games. We do bushwalking, tucker tasting, lots of really exciting activities that keep the students engaged most all of the time. Uh, as far as the food goes, all the food is provided for your student. Uh, this includes those students with special dietary needs. The camp is well equipped to accommodate for any dietary needs. Uh, we ask that no other food is taken into the camp, particularly lollies or snacks. We don't need to be smuggled into the camp. Uh, there is plenty of food and the kids are never hungry. Uh, with medication, we ask that the medical form be submitted prior to the camp and should your child require medication, that needs to have all relevant original pharmaceutical labelling on the box uh, with your child's name, of course. Students who uh, suffer with travel sickness, we ask them to sit at the front of the bus um, and that they have their travel sickness tablet 30 minutes prior to leaving and then pass that on to the classroom teacher so they can administer that for your child on their return back to school. Uh, as I mentioned, all medication needs to be given to your child's classroom teacher on the morning of the camp. It will be placed in a large cooler bag for travelling but really important that all medication must have relevant pharmaceutical labelling. Not just a label that you put on yourself, it needs to be prescribed and labelled um, specifically for your child. Uh, we only uh, need prescriptive medication given to the teacher. We ask that students do not take cough medicine, Panadol or anything like that. Uh, with the exception of travel sickness medication. But again, travel sickness medication also needs a pharmaceutical label. Uh, any students who are asthmatic, we ask that they carry their own Ventolin and keep it on them at all times. What to take? Well, that's always very exciting for the students. Uh, the full packing list will be provided closer to the time Basically, uh, students will need a sleeping bag and a pillow, of course, um, a sheet for the mattress. We ask that they will need, of course, a water bottle and a full brim hat, such as their school hat. Sunscreen, insect repellent, torch and raincoat are some of the essential items. So within the cabin, the sleeping mattress is provided. So if your student puts a sheet on there and then sleeps in their sleeping bag, that should be totally fine. Um, so again, what to take. So it is an Education Queensland campus, so they have the same rules as we do in terms of sun safety. So sleeveless shirts are not suitable. They need just a normal T-shirt that covers their shoulders. They also may wish to have a backpack with them to keep their water and things in during the day, but that's not essential. Um, when they're packing, we do ask that you be mindful not to pack too much as the bag that they have, they need to be able to carry themselves up a slight hill. So really important that they can carry or wheel that bag and that it's not really heavy. Uh, we ask that all items, not just clothing, all items are labelled. And if they do not have a hat, they are not able to participate. So that's really important. What not to take? Well, absolutely no mobile phones or electronic devices are accepted at all. No iPads, no phones, no Apple Watches, anything like that. Uh, there is no cellular cellular service out there so there's actually no point. Uh, we ask that no food is brought to the camp 
Um, as far as cameras, a standard camera is fine, uh, but definitely not an iPad or anything like that. So where to from here? So you should have received a brochure sent via the SMS and also an invoice. Um, the most important thing is the payment dates. So the $50 non-refundable deposit is due on Thursday the 1st of September. So that's about a week and a half's time. So that's a really important date and the finance department needs to be very strict with those dates. So we ask that you'd get that in as soon as possible. And then the full payment will be due um, the second last day of this term, Thursday the 15th of September, um, which is week 10. And that would be the balance of the payment, or $165 balance. So the total cost for the camp is $215. That of course includes transport, all food, all activities, obviously the accommodation, everything is provided there. Again, just the really important dates, the deposit, Thursday the 1st of September, $50, and the remaining payment by the 15th of September. Uh, the preferred payment method <clears throat> is through B point. Um, and just importantly, if you do not wish for your child to attend the camp, if you contact the finance office, they will remove the invoice from your child's account. If you would like any additional information, you can go to the Corumban Farm School website and there's uh, more information about the program and its location and facilities there. And if you have any other questions about your student attending camp, please just contact your child's classroom teacher through their preferred method and they will be happy to answer you. Thank you everyone and I look forward to an exciting camp in Term 4.